So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract the raster values to a vector data using Zono Statistics as a table in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So today we're going to use one, uh, one of my favorite tool, uh, Zono Statistics tool. So which helps us to extract the information from a rasters as a field in the vector dataset. So in the table of contents section, uh, you can able to visualize we have two, uh, two different uh, data, uh, data set here. So the first is the population data set. So I'm going to right click and uh, click this option called attribute table. So here in the attribute table, you can able to visualize we have this town locations. So uh, you can able to see here and the shape length and shape area. So uh, let's say I want to uh, start extracting some information about the environment uh, that uh, vary in uh, to the population uh, data as a field. So for example, uh, maybe I want to know about the average elevation and uh, the average slope and and uh, some other information that is commonly stored in the raster dataset. So well, I can use this specific uh, tool called Zonal Statistics as a table, which is available in the spatial analysis tool. So let me close this. So for that, we're going to navigate this option called analysis. So in the analysis section, I'm going to click this option called tools. So once you did that, a window pop up saying geoprocessing window. So in that, I'm going to click this option called toolboxes. So once you did that, we're going to navigate this option called spatial analysis tool. So this is our spatial analysis tool. I'm going to click this and uh, navigate to the zonal uh, tool set here. So to answer the question, I'm going to use this particular tool called zonal statistics as a table. So it's getting loaded here. So you can go through the details about this particular tool. For example, the zonal statistics as a table, it summarizes the value of rashes within the zones of another data set and reports the result as a table. So uh, in this uh, tool here, in the parameter section, in the input raster or the feature zone data. So I'm going to select my population uh, data here. So for example, I'm going to select my population data. And followed by in the zone field, uh, you can able to see we have a variety of different uh, table uh, fields here. So I'm going to select specifically this particular object ID. Let me explain about this later. So next, uh, we need to provide the input value of value raster. So that is our digital elevation model, for example. So this particular data set, dim data. So I'm going to uh, select that particular dim data here. So in the input value raster, I'm going to select dim dot tiff. So uh, what it's going to do is to uh, it's going to uh, look through all the features in this uh, in this uh, feature zone data that is our population data that is uh, that I'm providing and uh, for every feature in there. So it's going to uh, run a set of statistics uh, that I'm going to specify down here. So down here and uh, it will write out uh, those statistics as a fields uh, in the attribute table and uh, it will attach the attach to this uh, zone id that is our object id so that i can uh, so that uh, i can then join the attribute table back into my uh, population uh, data here so now in the output table uh, we're gonna navigate to the suitable location we're gonna save this so now i'm gonna navigate to my for suitable folder location so i'm gonna enter the name uh, as a population uh, place uh, elevation so i've entered as a population place elevation so we're going to click save so next we're going to navigate to the statistics type here so uh, we have this uh, variety of different statistics type so all uh, statistics here uh, where it uh, calculates a number of things here so it calculates the minimum maximum medium minimum percentile range and standard deviation sum uh, minimum and maximum mean and standard deviation and uh, minimum maximum and mean so in my case you're going to select all so once you selected your statistics type and let's uh, leave the rest as a default and they're going to run this uh, tool here the zone of statistics as a table so let us uh, visualize the result here so it's loading here so you can able to see here our tool has ran here the zone of statistics as a table so you can able to see here we have a result in the population place elevation. So we're going to right click this uh, at this table and I'm going to click this option called open. So now let us visualize the result here. So from this table, uh, uh, you can uh, look at this table here. So we have area, uh, minimum, maximum, range, mean, standard deviation and uh, the mean and the sum, median, 
so uh, I have this object uh, ID of this table here and now I'm gonna navigate to the population data I'm gonna right click and uh, we're gonna navigate this option called join and relates and uh, we're gonna navigate this option called add join so once you did that a window pop up saying add join so in the input table uh, we're gonna select my population data so I'm gonna select the population data and the input join field will be based on the object ID and followed by the join table so we're gonna select this particular table that is population place elevation so I'm gonna select population place elevation and the join table field will be based on the object ID so once you selected your join table field uh, leave the rest as defa default and uh, click OK so let me close this so now we're gonna navigate to the population data so we're gonna right click and click this option called attribute table so now in the attribute table uh, let me uh, go towards uh, right side so you can able to see here we have this population place elevation object ID the count and area the minimum and maximum range and the mean and the standard deviation so you can able to see we managed to join this uh, particular table into our population data so basically we have uh, uh, we have statistics of all those features here in this table you can able to see here starting from the minimum maximum range to uh, mean value so now let's find out uh, that's fully inside here so for example I'm gonna select this particular feature here so now I'm gonna navigate to the map section here and I'm gonna click this tool called select and I'm uh, gonna select this particular feature and I'm uh, gonna click this option here show the selected one so here you can able to see uh, for example so the minimum elevation of this particular feature is around 170 and the maximum elevation is around 165 so you can able to see and the mean elevation of this particular feature is 128.46 and also some other information about this particular feature is also given here the sum value the median and the standard deviation so this particular tool is uh, really handy and because uh, now I can have uh, any metrics I want from this particular raster data set as a value uh, attached uh, to my features feature data and uh, remember that uh, because uh, uh, this is a join tool let me show you that so this is a join tool uh, because this is a join and uh, so in the map documents uh, it is not permanent and uh, if you uh, if I want to make it permanent so to make this join as a permanent uh, we're gonna navigate to the population data and right click and uh, navigate this option called data and uh, we're gonna click this option called so we're gonna click this option called export features and uh, a window pop up saying export features now uh, the input features will be your population data and choose your output file location where you would like to save this file so we're gonna enter as population uh, places with elevation and now I'm gonna click OK so I'm uh, gonna navigate to the folder location let me cancel this I'm gonna choose my output file location once more time so now I've entered as places with elevation I'm gonna click OK so now we're gonna navigate to another folder location so I'm gonna enter the name as uh, places with elevation so we're gonna click OK so let me select the folder here so I'm gonna select this folder and I'm gonna click OK so now make sure that you enter, uh, enter the name here so I have uh, selected a uh, folder and after that I'm gonna select my yeah I'm gonna enter the name so once you entered your output name we're gonna click OK so it's gonna ex export those features so now we have this uh, places of the elevation here so I'm gonna right click and uh, gonna click this option called attribute table so in the attribute table we have uh, only one row here because we have selected uh, only this particular feature so to export all this feature make sure that you clear your selection and then you export this uh, population data let me show you once more time here I'm gonna right click and navigate to the data click uh, export features now navigate your folder location so for example I'm gonna select this particular folder data and they're gonna enter the output uh, as a place the population places with elevation so now I have entered as population places with elevation now click OK so it's gonna export this feature 
so now we have this feature here population places with elevation so uh, let me close this I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna right click and click this option called attribute table so now we can able to visualize the details here and uh, we have managed to uh, retain all those uh, field in our uh, exported feature the population places with elevation let us compare with our population data I'm gonna open this attribute table so here you can able to visualize we have this uh, starting with the row ID object ID and the count and uh, the elevation the elevation and me a minimum elevation here and similarly you're going to compare this so uh, you can able to see the object ID and the count value so it is around thousand once uh, once uh, 752 so you can able to see here and followed by we have this uh, population uh, the area so you can see the area here and similarly the minimum elevation the maximum elevation the minimum is around 156 so the minimum is around 156 here so you can able to see here so that's the zonal statistics uh, tool and uh, this is one of the best tool uh, and uh, like I was said before uh, it's a kind of uh, like a spatial join of uh, raster to vector where uh, it take our raster data and uh, take some uh, representation of it and then join it back uh, over to our vector data as the field information so it is a very valuable tool and uh, it's going to be one of those uh, common manipulations uh, you need uh, if you have uh, the workflow that uh, works across the raster and uh, vector data so in this video I have shown you how to extract the raster values to a vector data using zonal statistics as a table in RGIS Pro so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.